Now that we have hit 12,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away the Octane set minus Titanium White in my Discord server once the channel reaches 13,000 subscribers. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and then join the Discord server. The link is in the description. Good luck to everyone that enters, and let's get into the video. Before we head into the video, I'd like to give a shout out to the brand new sponsor on the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is a great way to buy Rocket League items and credits on any platform at the cheapest price prices so that you can build your dream setup. Make sure to check out the website using the top link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best items to buy and sell to get profit in Rocket League. This will work across all platforms, uh, literally no matter what platform it is because the items that I'm going to be going over are going to be popular on all platforms. This is the method that I use and it gets me anywhere between 1 and 3,000 credits profit a day on my nothing to something account and I'm not going to lie, trading isn't popular right now and I'm still making up to 3,000 credits profit a day, which is pretty decent. So uh, use these methods and hopefully you should be getting some profit for yourself. But basically uh, what you want to do is search up rlinsider.gg. This is a website that all players on Rocket League or all traders rather use to check their prices. So it is um, it's most commonly used. So this is the website you want to be using rlinsider.gg. Search that up and then you can search for the price of any item on any platform and you can get the price for it. But the thing we're going to be looking at is the trending section which will tell you what people are searching up for the prices and that tells you what items are popular at the moment so you should be selling and buying those uh, to get yourself some profit so this is what the trending section looks like when you search up rl insider and select your platform you should see at the top straight away white fennec is at the top this is because the price is currently dropping so people are searching up white fennec just to see what's going on with it and this is an item you can make so much profit with because as loads of people know it's dropping if anyone has a white fennec they might quick sell it just because it's dropping they don't want to lose any more profit so if you're trading and somebody comes up to you and says i have a white fennec can you offer me any credits you can use this uh you can use the price to your advantage because you see it's dropping they'll know it's dropping as well you can give them a quick message saying the white fennec is currently dropping can you go under minimum price and this works quite a lot with items that are dropping in price for example i might be able to pick up a white fennec for maybe 400 or 500 credits below the minimum price for someone who is quick selling it because the price is going down i can then flip that and try and get minimum price now other people will see it's going down as well but you might be able to sell it for someone for still under minimum price but more than what you bought it for so if you bought it for maybe 1.7k you can flip it get 1.9k they're still under minimum price because it's hard to sell because it is dropping but then you're still making profit the white octane is next and this is because the white octane is a really desired car loads of people want it unfortunately a lot of people aren't rich enough to uh, to buy it but if you are able to pick up a white octane for below minimum price because it is trending and it's not going down you should be able to sell it for above minimum price getting yourself a little bit of profit so uh, if you are trading make sure to use this trending last 24 hours to your advantage but there is also one other thing uh, that you can do to see if an item is easy or hard to sell. So if somebody comes to you with an item and you're unsure of, of if it's easy or hard to sell, there is one thing that you can do to check this. Now, if you search up the item on RL Garage or RL Trading Post, both of those are really good trading apps, you can see what other people are paying for this item. And if there's barely any posts for this item, then you know it's hard to sell because not a lot of people are looking for it. But if there's loads of posts, maybe one every 10 minutes, then you know that the item is easy to sell. Even if people are underpaying for that item if there's still a load of posts with people looking for it you know it's quite easy to sell because on rl trading post rl garage people are trying to make profit but if there's loads of posts looking for a particular item then you know it's easy to sell so for example i've just searched up what people pay for a white octane and there are so many posts within the last few hours of people either underpaying or paying minimum price like i said people are still trying to make profit on these apps but if there are if there's loads of posts looking for a particular item then you still know it's easy to sell whereas i searched up saffron emeralds and there's barely any posts i'm not gonna lie so uh stuff like emeralds they're really hard to sell right now which isn't great but yeah just use that method to search up the item obviously i know that white octane is high in demand but i just use that as an example so uh just search up how many posts there are for that particular item don't worry if people are underpaying because even if they're underpaying and there's a load of posts you know it's easy to sell hopefully you get 
what I mean. If you've got any questions about trading, let me know down below and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you with a response. But this is the method that I use just to see if an item is easy or hard to sell. Now, 90% of the time, I can tell if an item is easy or hard to sell. Most Rocket Pass items are hard to sell. There's a load of other items that I know are hard to sell. Random painted imports, random painted exotics, but that's because I've been trading for years now, so I've learned um, and I've experienced trading with different items. So, uh, you can use this method when you're starting off. It's really helpful. Even at my level, sometimes it can be helpful. But uh, when you're trading loads, you're, uh, you'll eventually get a feel for the market and you won't have to use this method anymore for most of the time. But yeah, just when you're starting off, like I said, use it and it should help you out. So looking at the rest of the trend, we have Apexes, Interstellars, Jewel and Dragons, more Octanes, loads of Octanes actually, Dissolver, Zombers, Standards. And uh, yeah, this just reflects um, what I've been trading with. Basically, all of these items... Um, I know are pretty easy to sell. Um, yeah, you, you've got no bad items here. So uh, I say this is pretty safe to go by if you're if you're looking at the trending section. Uh, so yeah, these items are probably the best ones to pick up. And I've also got evidence from enough into something series where I'm picking up a bunch of these sort of items and then selling them on pretty quickly. So these clips are just from my nothing to something. As you can see, I'm trading with uh, octanes, crimson octanes. I bought this crimson octane for I think 1.3k. We're selling on for over 2k i think 2.2k so massive profit on that one right there um seven nine hundred credits 900 credits profit all right cool i can do math still uh zombies as well uh, i don't know if there was a cobalt zomba or sky blue sorry i don't know if there was a sky blue zomba in the trending section but there were other painted zombas so i knew that this would probably relate to this paint as well so i was able to get profit on that item as well and um yeah next clip we've also got um, another octane cobalt octane once again i don't think that was in the trending section but loads of octanes are all octanes are high in demand burnt sienna might be a little bit harder to trade with um i know um i almost picked up a burnt sienna octane for 200 credits below the minimum price which would have uh, which would have been amazing uh, if you do have octanes as well try and sell them for mid price um all the trades you'll see in here are done are, are done on exports i can't speak um so if you think i'm getting more or less than uh, your platform is because different prices on different platforms but also selling a fire god that was towards the end of the trending section as well but that just goes to show that the trending section actually does relate to the um to rocket league as i've traded with a lot of those items and made a lot of profit on them um i've got loads of nothing to something videos coming soon as well should be uploading one tomorrow i think so um if you are enjoying the nothing to something then i am going to be bashing those out as well so i uh, hope you do enjoy those but anyway that is going to be it for me i really hope you have enjoyed make sure to drop a like subscribe and turn on post notifications as well if you are enjoying these videos but i'm basically trading every day to uh to get um nothing to something videos out and also to fund other videos like my uh, trade-up videos so uh i hope you do enjoy the uh, oh my days i cannot speak i hope you have uh, been enjoying the content on the channel recently i'm trying to put a little bit more effort into it but anyway that is going to be it from me thank you so much for watching this far into the video comment in the same profit if you have watched this far and i'll make sure to drop a reply to your comment but that is going to be it from me thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out